what is up guys in today's video we have another in the unranked to unreal series in this gameplay i think i'm going to be high diamond getting into unleat i'm not sure how i'm going to cut the videos yet but the higher diamond tiers are when you kind of just start to match anybody like unreal champion elite uh and high diamond all are basically in the same lobby so this is where ranked starts to kind of actually become ranked and the games get somewhat decent as always if you guys enjoyed the video remember to give it a like subscribe if you like some more and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching i'm dead i needed him to like get weak to those nades Maybe not. Better go for the slurp truck. I got the grenades because I thought the first player I was kind of like looking for in that house was sitting up top. Like upstairs from the building that I usually land at at fencing. And so I thought I could just like throw them up there and kill him or like force him out. I have these, thank you. Gotta get on top of the building. This guy seems aggressive. Another one here. Good. I wanted to reload this. Takes so long to reload, holy. This guy doesn't seem good. I hopped on that other guy because he seemed aggressive and I thought he'd push me and I didn't have any long range. I knew he had sniper AR, so I'd much rather fight that guy in close range. It's so hard to just get my character somewhere. I feel like I'm in debt to sprint this game. Nice. Okay. I was like not worried about that guy at all. Once I like reloaded my guns, I thought there was like no way I would lose to them. They just didn't seem to be the most comfortable. Dang, everybody's going for this radio tower. Which I could go to that in third party it and then maybe get good loot and all the medallions. But again, people said they wanted me to play more risk averse in these videos. And also, that's like a situation that probably just gets like chained third partied over and over again with all the medallion players being there. So I'm just gonna play more to just get a weapon bunker that I like. I think the one that's going to be most secluded would be this one over here. So I'm going to try to drive over there. I don't know if it's going to open or not, but we'll see. And then there's also one over here as well. I could actually open. I think I just saw a car to my left. Yeah. Two. I just act like I'm leaving. This is kind of rough because like this one might have people at it as well, but I know for sure that this one has people at it that aren't fighting. And just go to this one and hope it's not hit yet. Or hope that we get timing on people like actually fighting there because like those both those cars I think are just kind of like waiting for somebody else to do something. There's a medallion player going for this. I believe this is the siphon one because the other two down here were the ones over here and the dashes and so it would make sense to me that that's siphon. Unless the dash player has somehow gotten all the way over here.
Pests are unopened. Ammo on the guns in here. Right. I could kind of play to bait it and like kind of not open anything and see if this guy will do something. But I would rather just do my shit and get out of here. I'm trying to find a bush to chill in. I thought I just heard someone use the wings. If you have 4x sniper, you gotta be careful ADSing it in the bush. Like most of the time I was ADSing at him, he wasn't looking at me, so it's no big deal. But like they can see your glint when you aim down sight, even if you're in a bush. And so if I was like actively trading shots with him, um, while in the bush, then that might have gone rough. And that's why even flying low puts you at a pretty large disadvantage. One bunker. Don't want it. I'd rather have shockwaves. But yeah, even flying low. Oh, I broke my bush. That's not good. Even flying low, you make yourself a very vulnerable target because the wings... The entire hitbox of the character becomes the wing, so it's just very easy for me to hit shots on him and get a lot of damage. Um, and like, even though he's low and isn't like super exposed, he's still like very easy to hit. And like, going into that animation is not great. It's just even more time for me to shoot at him. I don't know where this sniper is. Probably on that house, but like, where on the house? I don't know. If they play the top, they're very vulnerable to the rest of the lobby. So like. I, it's really just a matter of time until they get third partied, but yeah being on that part they're way less exposed I'm gonna try to be near my car that way if I do get bodied we can just get in the car When it, with him above me too, it might be like somewhat easy for him to see me, but I feel like if that was the case, he would have hit me by now. But like sometimes when you're above the bush, it's like kind of easy to see through it. But as time goes on, like he's going to get like more and more focused. Like a lot of people are going to want that spot, I think. So him worrying about me is actually so bad for him. In the same way that me worrying about him is bad for me because you see this guy could have like easily snuck up on us. That's not great. I need to hit that shot. Because now this guy's going to be a problem. If I kill him, I can like worry about the other stuff easier. Nice. This is good. They might fight. Oh, they got the kill quick. That's not ideal. If they fought, I would have tried to third party it. But like, it seemed like that player got the kill for free. But he has to come like right up to me, basically. If he had shockwaves, shockwaving me out of the bush would be a good play for him. He seems pretty risk averse. Of course, that's the shot I hit and not the one where he's standing still. Is this up? Yeah, we gotta go up. Is that in zone? No. Everyone's sniping. Okay, so the guy that just died over there was the Mr. Luskin. And I know that because he got the kill next to me earlier and then I saw the name in the kill feed. And so I knew that this guy coming would not know that I'm in here. This guy's smart. He's trying to destroy my car. 
Hopefully that's enough. These mountains are so annoying to shockwave on. It's 1v1v1. There's somebody in here. That is not good. This is a hard game to win now. Unless this guy over peaks and then like maybe the other guy snipes him. But even then I still have to fight the other guy. I was hoping to get on this house and then hold the rest of the lobby. Oh, there's just like no cover here. This is why bunkers are good. I don't think this guy should be hopping on me though. Like I don't know why he's so intent on doing this. When it's a 1v1v1, just like forcing a neutral fight for no reason is like rarely good for you. I wasted my last big pot there. Because even if like, let's say his ideal situation is he just like jumps on me and I fight him. I'm probably going to do some amount of damage him to him just because of the nature of the auto shotgun, right? And so it's like unlikely he gets that kill cleanly and then the other guy has like height on him and cover from that house like it's so easy for that other player to win the game I wanted to shockwave on that bunker and kill him. I was hoping he's coming out the side door. Nearest to me. Alright, we'll just show on our bush again. Who they fight? I don't know where they are. One's in that bunker, the other one I don't know. I would have liked to have gotten that fizz. I thought it was going to be in zone in a second, but no. Next zone is here. That fizz opens up. I just don't know where the other player went. He's in the bush. This guy hates me, bro. I'm just trying to go up. I might be dead a storm now. Dang, GG. That was just such a struggle. The guy who got third that game was just like hard targeting me for some reason. Because they were about to fight in that bush. Like the solid snake was running into the bush that he was in. And if they're both in the bush at the same time, they fight. And then I could shockwave them out of the bush and it would be like the freest kill. Headless horseman? Oh. Oh, alrighty then. <laughs> I didn't think I was in ranked, dude. I didn't see like the ranks thing pop up when I was on the bus. So I thought for some reason Fortnite messed up and put me back in pub. So I was just like going to run at somebody and kill them and then see if the ranked icon popped up. I would not have played that fight like that. But I thought that it was the pub. Like I just wanted to see and then back out. This was so good though. That's something that's been like really nice about chapter four. And chapter five is just the pistols being so good. It's like satisfying. I just had visual audio over here. I need the house. I have no mobility though. That fight. They were both spraying weapons for a while. Dang. I did not expect him to just run out like that. The thermal AR can be so hit or miss for me sometimes. Like sometimes it feels fine and then sometimes it just does not. Like the recoil. That's like the only time the recoil I feel like gets out of hand on this gun for me is when I have the thermal he broke down 
I was expecting this guy to be weak. Because it sounded like they traded shots for a while. Do these men. Unfortunate timing. I think I might go for the auto shotgun here instead of the gatekeeper. I prefer the gatekeeper, but having only three rounds and not really having a spray weapon. Just use the auto. Shockwave near me. Fighting maybe? But I'd like to make my way to Medusa to buy shockwaves. I'm just hoping that they aren't all bought out by these other players. Because like right now if I have shockwaves that's a kill, you know? Imagine being someone playing Fortnite in 2017 and then hearing someone be like, yeah, I got to go to Medusa to buy shockwave grenades. <laughs> be so confused. I don't know where he went. Okay, I see. Yeah, he's gone. That's just unlucky. Oh, dang. I can't sprint. I feel like the past two fights have just occurred on such like unfortunate timing for my sprint. And we're probably dead now by third party because the top is open there from earlier. So I think that pink lady that got away I would have killed if I like had sprint. There's barrels in this building but it looks like it's already been looted. That's not what I wanted to do. I want to get on the roof and look back and see if we can maybe get tags on him. I'm very, very weak. There is someone I saw going to the Meowso's house. Hopefully there's no one on the train. I was going to go to the Meowso's house and try to get health. Or heals there, but... I saw somebody jumping the fence. This guy's very weak. He might shock away. Okay. That's huge. Now we got heals. I forgot I had the thermal on this AR. I could have like shot that winged player. I thought I had a like iron sight. I'm like somewhat tempted to take this nemesis because it has a sight that I actually like. 
Let's talk right to this bunker again. That was almost tragic. Hit my tires to bounce at him. I think this person's in this bunker. GG's. Thank you for the gifted J Rody to Salva. Salva, if you're here, make sure you say thank you and enjoy your sub edge emotes and add to viewing courtesy of J Rody. This is drum mag, drum mag gatekeeper, which is nice. Bro. The people playing this match have been playing like they just despise having shockwaves in their inventory. Like, am I crazy? Or is everyone like using them? Unnecessarily. Alright, hopefully you have more Medusa. I'm gonna be poor after today. I might as well just buy more. Because like... I'm already at so low gold anyways, it's whatever. No G-Wagon behind the house, but there's one here. I still don't have a sniper, which is unlucky. In the, um... Weapon bunkers are odd this game. The only one that's like really in zone is that one. And so I feel like when you get a game like this where there's like not very many bunkers in zone. It, they, it becomes more and more like contested, you know? So we may have to like give this up. Like if there's a bunch of people here and we're just getting like chain third party. Sounds like it's going down over there. Well, that can be good for me. Someone just died in the kill feed, so... And it, this fighting stopped, so this guy has, like, a decent amount of time to heal before I get here. That's on. It's, like, completely covered. I didn't get my flow effect. The other guy was like breaking the bottom of that bunker as well to like come out when I was like fighting the Midas. I wanted to like flowberry fizz and hop on him, but I like canceled my flowberry fizz like at the last second probably. This kind of stinks though, because I would very much like to have a sniper. The sniper I could have had earlier was no sight on it. I was hoping I could get one from one of the bunkers, but also I really do not like the Nemesis AR. Like it's not bad, but like bullet velocity wise, it feels so much worse to me than the Warforge. I was thinking this guy was gonna get in the car and leave after I shot him. That's why I was like somewhat down like 
to just let that happen. And then, like, that was exactly what I wanted to happen. I was hoping to just run in here and make him think that I was, like, doing attachments. Or, like, actually going in here, you know, and then in hopes that he would just, like, run at me. And it worked out, but, like, that was so unnecessary from him. Like, I had gone in here for a fraction of a second, and he was already just, like, full sprinting it. Like, even if I was intent on, like, doing attachments and didn't think he'd push, like, wasn't trying to bait it. I feel like he still, like, played that kind of bad. Like, he, he pushed too soon. And then, luckily for me, the drum, like, the shotgun just hit 100 plus every shot there. That's kind of crazy. I was hoping he had better heals. The medallion at Lavish. I want a new car. I'm hoping the one outside class he spawned. Doesn't look like it though. Or if it did, someone took it like people have been here. One down there didn't spawn either. Dang. The car is quite weak. Both these medallion players might be on their way to this bunker. I don't see this guy yet, but I should be able to. Like, he's somewhere around here. Maybe he's in that house, but... I think I just saw him under the bridge. Maybe not. I thought I saw him under the bridge, like, kind of coming up this way. He could still be under there, though. But I'm, like, kind of down to fight him, because I feel like this would be a somewhat isolated fight. That's why I'm, like, looking for this guy so much. Because we've been over here for a while. I fought uh, two people here. Didn't get third party, so like I would imagine me and this medallion player are like the only ones here. Oh, and gas. I just need to go zone now. Lavish medallion player in. Kind of came out towards here. Hopefully, there's no one in this place. I just saw somebody over there. He's weak enough to body. Oh, yeah, he just gets away. Winging again. I don't want to be too like concerned about that though. Like I would like to get the kill for free, but like if that guy's just gonna keep winging around like that, he's not the biggest threat, you know. We can kill him later. The new G wagon over there, and it's also a guy over there behind a tree. Dude, my car just like kind of griefed. I was trying to strafe to the right, but couldn't cut my car. He should get this G-Wagon. I know he takes the sports car.
All right, let's chill. Him getting ahead of me is kind of nice, because if there was somebody over there that was like overly concerned about me, then like they're gonna fight that guy, and then we can third party in. He might just like stop and third like hold me, but he can't do that if there's other people over there. Seems like he got all the way across though. I don't have forecast this game. Fighting going on, but this side of zone that I'm at seems like relatively dead. Somebody in this bush, but. Thermal doesn't really help me with that. Okay, so this is actually very bad now because this guy's behind me and then I just shot at that bush across the way. So the bush across the way is probably going to be concerned about me. While this guy is also obviously going to be concerned about me. If I just waited to shoot at that bush and then like saw this guy coming out, then things would probably be better. This guy over to my left though has a higher AI, so it'll be like relatively easy to like find him. Like the scanner bot obviously helps him because it scans, but having the AI follow you around isn't the best sometimes. He's just trying to like fight me with the bubble and I have no early damage on him. I'm not trying to do that. He probably shocked. Yeah. Dang, I thought that was going to hit. There's a guy behind me. Dude, is that the diamond or silver logo? I get them confused. I still think there's somebody in this bush, but I don't know because that guy in front of me got away. And kind of like I talked about earlier, I would have liked to have killed that guy, but also him just going ahead of me is also somewhat nice. Fortnite players are weird sometimes, so you never know. But like the fact that he was able to just walk through all of this while I had double bodied him with snipe probably kind of gives me the assumption that this area of zone isn't very populated. Is that in? I can't tell. It's like barely not in. I'm going into the weapon bunker there. That might be a hired AI though. But if that hired AI is going in there, that means there's somebody there. Nice. And kind of like everything I just talked about, I would think this side of zone is somewhat free now. I was hoping to get heals and bunkers, maybe. Zone pulled far. My car is like pretty pointless, I think. Is it weak? It's got it's weak and it's got no windshield. Three opponent. One I had seen over there a moment ago. What am I watching? Huh? So that man just like winged into like not end zone. All right. I would have liked to have sniped him. This guy bodied with snipe earlier. We can let him go though. They might fight. They're like on the building together. I was going to say I let that guy go and then the person on the house should beam him. One's in water. Alrighty then, GG's. That was so free. What was that Midas doing, bro?
Like that man really saw zone and is like, I would like to use my wings and then get as far away from zone as possible. That was only 46%. I think the hardest fight was just this Casey too good when I had zero sprint at fencing. <laughs>